So I was itching to make a list video and I asked people on Twitter what they wanted to see and they chose creepy out of bounds content, which after collecting footage for four years over various games, there is no short supply of creepy content that's been found from time to time. So here are 10 creepy things that I have found out of bounds. All right, can I be honest with you guys for a second? I freaking love these glasses. Uh, these are from the GMG Performance. They're meant to block out blue light. Now, why would you want to block out blue light? There's a couple reasons. One, in my case, it makes my eyes all extra watery like I've just been crying for the past uh, 15 minutes. It's not the case. It's just I look at a computer screen way too often and I don't do anything to block out the blue light. And um, now I'm probably going to be wearing these glasses from now on so I can help reduce those terrible comments that I get all the time about it. Um, they can also help you if you're asleep. It can also help you with eye strain. It can help you with concentration. And it can also just keep the health of your vision uh, longer and well preserved for many more years. Yeah, I again, I've been kind of dabbling with blue light blocking eyeglasses for a while now, but they all kind of look very tacky. They give a yellow tint to the lens and you end up looking like Johnny Depp in some 90s film. But these ones are very discreet. They don't have that yellow tint. They look stylish and there's actually multiple ones you can get too. I would absolutely wear these ones as well if I was given the choice. But um, these ones in particular, I'll probably be wearing these a lot more often. You might end up seeing me on a stream or something wearing these. I genuinely like it that much. But anyways, if you want to see even more styles that they have available or just pick up the same pair that you just saw on the screen here, they have a special Black Friday offer. And this is apparently the best offer that the company has ever provided for its products. So you can definitely get these on the cheap. It's literally half the price. Comes as a huge recommend from me. If you want it, you can click the link in the video description. But anyways, here you go. Number 10, Half-Life. Now there's all sorts of interesting stuff out of bounds in Half-Life, but by far the creepiest thing is in this area after the elevator lift. Going straight out of bounds and to the left when you get to the bottom will show you a room full of Gabe Newell's face. Now as creepy as this room is, it does serve a purpose. It's supposed to hold a hound eye until it teleports into the game. But until then it's stored here, surrounded by many, many Gabe Newells. Number nine. Dead Silent Hill 2 characters in Silent Hill 3. So in two instances, characters that are from Silent Hill 2 are used as props in Silent Hill 3, but you never get to see their face to know that for certain. But taking the camera in this early scene can show you the floating head of Angela, which was a prominent side character in Silent Hill 2. And during the scene with Heather Mason discovering that her father is dead, reveals that if you move the camera in his direction, that it's in fact James Sunderland, who is also missing the top of his scalp, making both characters present, but not all themselves. Number eight, the missing body in Bioshock Infinite. Going through the wall here at the Good Time Club can show you a tiny little box, which is probably meant for one of Elizabeth's tears, considering the fact that the room is so small. It shows a pair of booker arms that are clearly meant for a first person scene. And then there's also this body here that is not textured and so it has this bright untextured color. The model was supposed to be in a dilapidated room with a apron on. And the only thing we got as a visual remnant is the head of the character model itself. Number seven, Resident Evil Remake, Lisa's face. Now, it's hard to see what's going on with Lisa's character model in general when you play the game, but what the game shows you is someone else's face lathered on Lisa Trevor. Putting that character into a model viewer can allow us to remove that face and show you what Lisa Trevor is really genuinely supposed to look like because the developers took the time to model the entire thing. Her entire body seems to be modeled underneath her tatters as well, making an already disturbing character even more disturbing. Number six, A Hat in Time. Now the previous entries on this list seem to range from mature to straight up horror based. But A Hat in Time is a game that can be appreciated by basically anybody. So it really comes as quite a shock that if you take the camera inside of Hat Kid's toy box, there seems to be a knife hidden at the very bottom. What the heck Hat Kid needs a knife for, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe she's hiding evidence. Maybe she's the one responsible for the pool of blood in the bathroom stall in this stage. Number five, Dark Souls 3. Now the boss, Aldrich, Devourer of Gods, makes noises that the player can never hear. So rather than taking the camera to show you something visually that you can't see that's kind of creepy, this time around, we're taking you up close so you can hear something that's a little creepy. Aldrich imitating Gwendolyn with almost specter-like moans. Take a listen. <sighs> Oh. <sighs> 
Number 4, Super Mario RPG. Now you wouldn't expect anything creepy to be in Super Mario RPG, but I beg to differ. During this scene when Princess Peach is hiding behind the building, if Mario was to run out of bounds and over to the right, there's a disturbing image of Mario in Princess Peach's dress holding the head of Princess Peach. Truly an unspeakable abomination. Number 3, Resident Evil 2. Now due to the simplicity of Resident Evil 2, you wouldn't think there'd be anything hidden out of bounds, but right near the start of the game when you encounter your first liquor, there's a head that was completely unused by the developers. See this dripping puddle of blood over here? Well that technically belongs to the headless corpse behind you, and that corpse is headless because the liquor put his head up on the ceiling. Now in one angle you can barely see this head, but at one time it was supposed to fall from the ceiling, but this animation was later removed by the developers because they were worried about pushing the mature rating too far. Number 2, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. For some reason in Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door there's one thing that you would never expect to see. And that is on the inside of this lampshade, the developers for some reason decide to texture it with eyeballs. This instance is completely unique to this one scene alone, as the inside of other objects never seem to have anything quite like this. And why eyeballs? I'm not sure. And then at number one, PT. There's lots of crazy things that are outside the boundaries in PT, like unused eyeball textures and so much more. However, the best thing out of bounds is something that the developers, I guess, were hoping you would do at some point, and that is to clip outside of the boundaries. Because if we were to take the player model too far out of bounds, the game is programmed to have Lisa kill you. That's right, there's a literal death barrier hidden out of bounds where Lisa takes you, which in my experience was the first time I've ever been punished for going out of bounds, and unfortunately in a very frightening and creepy way. Oh, thanks a lot for watching by the way. If you wanted to see more Out of Bounds content for any of the games on this list, I have a playlist of my entire series right here on the screen, and it's also going to be in the video description. All you gotta do is click on that, scroll to the game that you want to see, and there should be like an additional 10 minutes of content if you're in the mood. But anyways, thanks again. Take care.